Did you recently receive the Windows 11 2022 update, also known as 22H2? Maybe you've dragged a window up towards the top of the screen and seen another window slide down. Well, that is something called snap layouts in Windows 11. And today I'm gonna to go through all of the options that you have to set up snap layouts, how to use them, and what you can do to tailor it to meet your specific needs. Let's go. To get to your snap settings, you go to Windows settings, which you can do with Windows key I, or I've already got it open in my case. From the system menu, you go ahead and scroll down to multitasking, and there you will see all the snap Windows controls. Now, if I want to, I can turn it off completely. And now when I do that, if I drag this window to the side, you'll see that none of the snap capabilities have been enabled. So now if I turn this on, and then I look at all the controls that are underneath this menu, if I go ahead and look at everything, I can see that there are quite a few different options here that I'll explain one by one. First, I'll start by disabling everything. So all of the different controls are disabled, including the new stuff that was released in Windows 11. And now I'll go ahead and snap to one side, and you can see I need to go all the way to the edge, and there I can snap into the corner or to the right. I can snap to the left by moving my cursor all the way to the left. And so I have basically the same kind of functionality that I had in the original Snap days from Windows 7. But none of the other apps were suggested to me as I snapped anything from side to side. I can also use the Windows key plus left and right arrow or up and down arrow. So I'm going left, right, up, and then back down. And then I can minimize the window with the down arrow as well as a shortcut key or set of keys that I can use to control the snap behavior. So again, if I go all the way to the edge, I can see what I can do in terms of snapping that window, but I have to go to the very, very last pixel on the right-hand side in this case to get it to work. Now, if I enable this control here, you can see I've got about you know, a centimeter or uh, almost three quarters of an inch or so of, of space between the far right side of the screen and when the snap starts to present itself. And then I can also do additional things. For example, if I want to look at um, snap groups, you'll see right now I have no snap groups if I hover over Word and Excel. I don't have snap groups also if I'm in the, if I'm in the um, task view. Now when I turn this on, I'll hover back over Word and you'll see I've got a snap group here with Excel and Word and another one here that you can see under the Excel icon. And in the task view control, you can see that I've also got some snap groups visible to me there as well that I can select and that brings up both windows simultaneously from that group basically consuming the entire screen which is nice and convenient. Now if I want to maybe I want to get the hover controls to work over the maximize button. Well right now I don't have that configured uh, but I can configure that here uh, as well. But first, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use this control to enable snap layouts when I drag the window to the top of the screen. And this is the new control for the 2022 update that, um, that was just released as part of 22H2 for Windows 11. So I'll go ahead and open that. I need to right click, sorry, left click, and then hold that down and drag it to the layout that I want. In this case, I'll drag it to the left hand side and you can see that it's snapped to the side of the screen again without any recommendations on the right hand side of the screen. So those are not there, that's the top checkbox. So now I'm gonna go ahead and enable the hover over maximize button uh, snap assist controls. So I'll go ahead and move this to the left hand side and again, still don't have any of the suggestions on the right. So if I want to get the suggestions on the right hand side, that's when I would enable this very top checkbox so when I snap the window, it will actually suggest what will appear on the other sides of the screen. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now I can see that it's suggesting other apps. I'll select Task Manager in this case. And you can see that I've got a snap group configured now for anything when I hover over Settings or in Task Manager, it's visible there just like it was for Excel and Word before with that snap group. And I can easily move between multiple groups. So now in the task view, I can also see my two different task groups that I can move between as I look at the different desktops and other windows that I have at my disposal. So now I'm gonna go back into settings and you can see I can do just the one window if I want to by clicking on it without hovering and change, changing the group. And I'll go into and hover over it and see the group again and get both of my windows side by side. So now I've got everything configured, all of the controls that are basically the defaults in the 2022 update. And here, from here I can customize what I want. So if I wanna go back to the experience that Windows 11 had 
when it shipped, I can do that here. So now I've disabled the top menu and you can see that is no longer available to me. And when I re-enable it, now I've got all of the options there so I can do everything I want to around Snap. But again, it's your call in terms of what you want to keep and the behavior that you want to have. So those were Snap layouts in Windows 11 2022 update. If you like this capability and you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.